Fun fact, the games are inspired by the journals of some real characters, so there is some truth to it. Sure, the games are more exaggerated than what they wrote in their journals, but it's still nice to have a pinch of historical accuracy in a game. Brothers in Arms might seem like the usual World War II shooter at first, but it has unique features that make it worth playing. The story isn't that wow in either of the two games. It's the almost stereotypical small squad of unknown soldiers that get drafted and have to fight their way through enemies, which most of the time are Germans. But even if story-wise the games aren't something, what is nice about the games is what makes them worth playing. The little details and quirks. You can command your squad, you tell them where to go and you have to flank the enemy. And if you are not careful, your comrades die, and you end up alone among enemies. Also it's nice that the game doesn't throw big numbers of enemies at you. The game is more laid back, it throws around 4 or 8 enemies most at a time. It's a note of realism on one hand, and on the other hand, it will be tough to handle more enemies at a time, since you have to be careful to command your troops into flanking positions, watch out for your own health, as the game doesn't have regenerative health, and in short, pay attention to all the details, to survive. Even the weapons in the games move somewhat more realistic. Where there are many bullets flying around you, it's harder to aim, and the weapons feel more accurate than in other World War II shooters, they are harder to use, they feel more rudimentary, and also you die more easily by bullet fire. So charging straight at enemies, is an even worse idea than in normal shooters. You can risk it, but it's not a good idea. The best way to progress in the game is to move from cover to cover and to flank enemies and to command your troops to into flanking positions. The AI in the PS2 version is more stupid than on PC or Xbox. But all in all, if you want a more realistic approach to World War II, where the action is tense without the many explosions Call of Duty has or other games of this sort like Medal of Honor, then you will like this game. This game is more about strategy than blasting your way through enemies. There are fewer enemies and from the video the game might look dull, but once you have to think about everything and how to flank those few enemies, the action gets really tense. So if you like what I'm talking about here, then try out the game, you'll probably like it. Ok, so this was the video, if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks, you have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.